Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to defeat Extreme AI in Empire Total War. So first things first, you need to learn the tutorial first. This is very important because you need to know the basics of the game before trying this sort of thing. So make sure you learn the tutorial and you know the basics of the game before you start doing this. So here's the army composition and the army setup. So now we're going to use a weak point and that's gonna lure the enemy in. And basically, their forces are going to focus on that weak point, and we're gonna exploit that weakness and we're going to defeat the enemy. So, to get into the game, so here's the battle replay of the battle where I defeated the extreme AI. So, I'm going to use this battle replay show you guys how to defeat Sim AI in Empire Total War. So first our troops are going to move into position and back in the battle setup I'm going to send my tight infantry first. Important point, you're going to play defensive, you're not going to engage the enemy early on. The enemy is the one who's gonna engage. Because walking your troops towards something is going to tire your troops and that reduces their morale. And morale is important because your troops are in the state of no morale. They are going to retreat no matter what. So I'm going to get the enemy come towards me so that they're going to be tired and their morale is going to be reduced. And now the Knight Infantry is going to help in that because they're going to fire the enemy and then they're going to retreat. So it comes. And after that, you're going to retreat your light infantry towards the back of your line. Because you're going to need them later on. So as you can see, force artillery is very powerful in the closing round. Especially if you're using red shock. The enemy is now attacking our weak point, so the trap is working. Now I'm going to send my infantry to square formation. And now they're attacking the weak point. Formation is important because it gives your infantry a melee bonus in fighting. It keeps your infantry morale high and it reduces damage done by the enemy. So, your infantry is being attacked, always use square formation. So, now I'm going to exploit the situation. The enemy is in, and I'm going to use my infantry to exploit that. And now my cavalry. 
that he's going to prevent the enemy from engaging the tanks. You don't want to be engaged in the camps because that will be damaging. So now I'm closing in towards the enemy. And now I'm engaging the general. This is important because if the general dies, your enemy's morale is gonna be hit hard. And that's often a uh, winning strategy. And so now the enemy is routing. The enemy's morale is go and they're routing. And so now I'm going to engage the remaining artillery. Now, another very important point. Don't run your troops towards the remaining artillery because it's gonna be tiring and since they got into combat recently, their morale is low. So you need to get them walk and just walk towards the enemy. So that's gonna save their morale. On side note, that also uh, you can also bayonet charge the enemy if their morale is low to finish them off. And so now I need the bayonet charge. Enemies routing, we're scared, the battle is over. So that's how you defeat extreme AI in Empire Total War by playing defensive and not engaging the enemy early on. Thanks for watching.